and applying uh, L'Oreal Paris Infallible Matting Base to my face. I'm now going to use the L'Oreal Paris Nude Magique Cushion, which is a foundation I have replaced my old foundation with. Tap tap, the advert says. So this is my first beauty um, tutorial. So bear with me. I'm also looking in a mirror that's behind the camera. Because um, I'm finding it a little off putting looking into my viewfinder on the camera. When I say a little bit off putting, what I mean is I just can't really see exactly what I'm doing. There's also a little <laughs> mirror on this as well. There we go. Don't forget to do your neck as well. I'm terrible when it comes to doing my neck. I tend to <laughs> make it a bit streaky looking or have patches and people go, it's fine if you're in the darkness to not see. over my forehead again just making sure that everything's all good and covered <laughs> I always keep the little cover on this and um, to stop stop it drying out and getting dirty next I'm going to use the dream lumini touch and it's from Maybelline New York um, this is one of the best um, highlighters and well it's really a highlighter well highlighting concealing that I've ever used so apply to any areas that are red and don't forget to do un your under eye as well I think this is slightly darker than the colour of my foundation but that's okay if I'm going to blend it. I'm just doing, doing a bit my eyebrows because I tend to find that when I'm doing foundation I kind of miss a little bit. Now I don't have a beauty or a blending brush to hand but I do have a little sponge that I'm going to try. Let's see how this works. I tend to get quite red skin so Okay, this is my first time using a beauty blender and I just don't really think that it's working very well. Maybe I'm inexperienced for using it. See, I do have a beauty, oh, sorry, a blending brush somewhere, but I think it's got r remnants of eyeshadow on it. I, what was that? Oh, I just flipped a big bit out of the way. <laughs> I'm going to switch to the small one and I'm going to come in closer so I can dip my under eye. I need to be a bit more of that. I don't know if you can see that. By the way, my parents are mucking about with the sound bar. 
just in case you wonder what the noise is. If you can hear a loud noise coming from the other room. So now I'm done with my face, I'm going to move on to my eyes. Now as this is a gothic look, I'm just going to say that now I'm not going to be applying any blusher and I don't know how to do sculpting or contouring, that's something I'm yet to discover. So let's crack on. So I am using a Freedom Makeup Eyeshadow and this is Mono Eyeshadow Base 240. I'm just applying this roughly with my finger. <laughs> Be careful not to get it in your eyebrow like I just did. <sighs> I don't draw on my eyebrows. I've got quite thick eyebrows and I have to maintain them. Uh, once a week I have to shape them and I haven't done them today which really should have for this video but when I done them last week I took a bit too much off so I don't know if you can tell but my eyes are naturally dead like they eyelids are dead dead dark as if I'm not getting enough sleep and I'm getting plenty of sleep to my knowledge so next I'm going to take my brush which I cannot find ah there it was there see this is just a wee super drug blending brush I usually use this for eyeshadow because I feel it's great for blending the eyeshadow but you can go ahead and use a proper eyeshadow brush I'm going to use the Revolution Makeup Ultra Eyeshadow Palette. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm going to be using the color. I'm going to be using the color uh, Declare, which is, ooh, 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 where is it? this one here. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I've also got a wee mirror here as well, which is handy. I really am not the greatest at applying makeup, particularly eyeshadow. An eyeliner. Uh, I've not really not got a steady hand for doing eyeliner. I bet you I'm making silly faces whilst I'm doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this a colour on both eyes and then we'll follow on to the next step. Okay, so I finished with this colour by accident. I added a little bit here because it kind of fell. So to kind of make this... <laughs> make them both look the same. I did a wee bit here and just use a brush to kind of flick out. So the next colour I'm going to use is this colour called Slate which is this one and this is still from the Ultra Eyeshadow uh, Makeup Revolution palette. Uh, you get this little thing with all the names on it to keep you right. Yeah, so we're going to use Slate. And slate's like a bit of a sparkly grey. I 
I'm just popping that on top of the to clear. Don't make the mistake I done uh, and not tap your brush because you end up getting it all over your face. Sorry if my mirror's in the way. How's that looking? But getting there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye. The reason I'm doing my other eye off camera is because for some reason I can't seem to close that eye like I'm winking, so I have to actually hold my finger gently over my eyelashes. So with that said, I'll be back shortly. So now that I've got both eyes kind of roughly how I want them. I'm going to move on with the next eyeshadow, which is number 178 from the company Kiko, and it's just this gorgeous little shimmery black. It's quite pretty. I don't know how you can see it shimmer, but it's so pretty. So go ahead and apply that to your eyes, and this is the final step of the eyeshadow. You're just you I'm just using that really to get sparkle, but a bit of sparkle going on. <laughs> I kinda went over where I'm supposed to. I mean not supposed to. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and fix that little mistake. I <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to move on to eyeliner, which I'm totally unsteady doing hand-wise. So I'm going to use um, this eyeliner that I got off Superdrug's website, because I haven't actually ever seen it in stores. And it is a bold black waterproof eyeliner by Barry M. If you can see that. And I find that the best thing to get this off is micellar water. And makeup wipes just don't do it. Obviously it's nice to start with a nice sharp one, but as you can see, mine's is not sharp. I don't know where my sharpener is, it's gone rogue. <laughs> Star Wars! <laughs> Didn't mean to reference anything there. <sighs> okay, so I'm not very good at doing eyeliner up here, so... I'm going to miss that out, but bear with me. Okay, so... <laughs> Sorry if I make strange faces. Okay, so. I really am not that great at doing this. Guys, I'm so nervous. This is my first makeup tutorial. If you want, you can go ahead and apply some scotch tape or maybe a little piece of cello tape and do flicked out lines. Now, a couple of people saw me with a picture the very first time I tried that and they have like, what was wrong with your eyes? So me personally, I don't do it anymore, but I do still do a little slight flicked out thing, but it's entirely up to yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this and then do the other side. Oh, I really haven't good at this at all. <laughs> Oh, I'm stabbing myself in the eye there. Okay. 
sorry if you don't like eyes I pull up my eyes if you don't like looking at eyes you can skip over this bit I'm sure you don't need to see me and do all my eyeliner <sighs> my eyes are just really watery right now let's look at I've probably put myself in the eye. I'm just going to quickly go and check this in the mirror um, to make sure that everything's going okay. So if you're like me and you're really not steady with eyeliner, you can go ahead and use another brush or a q-tip to clean this up. Okay, so now I'm going to do my little winged bit. I don't know if you can see, I've sort of done it here. So I just got in at the corner of my eye and kind of drag it slowly in a sort of pointy way wrong eyeliner I've had to switch to another eyeliner because the other one, the end broke up and I can't find my sharpener so this one is a precision pencil and it's by Rimmel I believe I got it out Savers Look, I always like to try and make sure that they kind of match, but they don't always. Sometimes they kind of look a bit blobby ish. Give it a blob. See, I've got this corner going on here. I'm just going to do the same in this one. Let's go ahead and thicken it up a little bit. I don't need it leaning too light. Here we go. Alright. Do the same here just to make sure it's even. Again, I'm going to tidy any mistakes up. So as you're going along, if you notice that you're making mistakes, don't be afraid to fix them. Don't be afraid to have to maybe wipe off and start again because I'm not a professional and I'm still learning as I'm going along. Practice makes perfect. So still doing my eyes, I'm going to use a crust jeweled gel liner and this is from Gemma Kid Makeup School. It was actually part of a set I got. It's I don't know if you can see that. It's like a really 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 thin tip. Okay, I'm really nice and close so that I can see what I'm doing and you can also see what I'm doing. Except for the price of one. Please subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below. Uh, letting me know maybe what other kind of videos you'd like me to do. Um, and if you can, sure and like this. It would be helpful and great of you. I don't know how to subscribe to other subscribers because I had someone want me to subscribe to their channel so hello if you've messaged me about subscribing your, to your channel I'm not really sure how to it's not that I'm ignoring you I'm grateful you watch my channel I'm yet yet to figure that out so I have to do this with this eye and um, once I figure out how to, to um, do it I will add you or follow you, subscribe to you, whatever the word is. I can never find the right word to use. Let's see how that looks. I would say there was more blue in this eye than there was this eye. I don't like how it's a really stubby little tube. And it's sort of like the brush is really really thin because I feel like I'm not getting enough on the brush or is it just me? <sighs> I think I'm getting all of this on places that don't really want it. I'm not entirely sure. Also my camera seems to, I'm just testing it now, my camera seems to adjust itself 
So if I like lean forward, it sometimes slightly moves and whatnot. It's great for when you're doing hauls and you're holding up like a t-shirt because it, it'll like sort of pan up. See, is there any reason my hands is doing it? Oop. It'll sort of pan. This is my phone, by the way. I say camera, it's actually my phone. In case you're wondering, it's a Huawei Holly Honor phone. I've had it for a couple of years now, but it's a bloody good phone. You can get it on Amazon. I got it as a pre-order at the time. And the annoying thing is, D, his uncle, and one of my friends all have the same phone. So it was really annoying. <laughs> but it was such a good price that it was um, not worth passing up on. And if you've got a Holly Honor phone, congrats. I don't know, is this a bit much or is it nice? I don't know, tell me. Here. I'm just chatting away here like you're really actually sitting in front of me. Right, I'm going to go and have a quick look at that in the big mirror because at this distance I can't really see, so bear with me. So I've got, I don't know how well you can see this, but I've got quite a good amount on. It is kind of spreading to other areas, but probably throughout the night um, at a party it would do that. So it's quite wet, so <laughs> bear with it to dry. <laughs> so the next stage I'm going to do is my uh, mascara. I know it's a dye shadow. And this is the... L'Oreal Paris False Lash Flutter. I don't know how well you can see that. And this particular one is Noir Black, but you can also get it in Extra Black if you want to go the extra mile. I'm not good at doing mascara either. I tend to get it all over my nose. So this is what this brush looks like. I don't know how well you can see that. Ignore all the black marks on my hands. <laughs> That's me with my um, eyeshadow. I'm not going to curl my lashes because I've put the gel liner on. I, I don't really tend to use um, eyelash curlers. If you want, you can do the eyelash curling before you do your eyelashes. Um, or you could just simply hold your lashes down your finger, or like hold your lashes back with your fingers for a couple of seconds. I'm just going to go over that again because I think I may have touched it there. I think I might have a bit closer. Do the bottom. If I can see. I like to try and make sure I got all my eyelashes. I don't even know if I've done them there. Or I'm just watching the time. Not that I'm in a hurry, but I've got to keep an eye on the time for something in my household. There we go. I hate when mascara goes clumpy. I got bought a mascara that apparently they sell on Harvey Nicks and it's supposed to be the best mascara. And it went clumpy. And I was going to a hen night. If you don't know what a hen night is, it's a party that a bride to be has before a wedding. So in the UK and Scotland we call them hen parties. And if a man in Scotland's having a party for getting married, so he's the groom, he has a stag party. So a hen stag party. I've no idea whether they're called that. Um let me know down below if you've ever been to one. Did you enjoy it? And also what do they call it in your country? So I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye. That, that brush feels quite dry. There we go. Yeah, and I actually had to remove half my face because it went all clumpy and went over my face. Wow. Wowzers. How are we doing here? Oh, oh no. I've just got a wee bit on my eye. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I've got a wee bit under my eye. That's okay. 
As I said, we can fix that. That is not a problem. I never know which way to angle the brush and because I've got my nose, it gets in the way. If you're going to apply a setting spray, which I probably should have talked about, I don't actually know where mine is, that's why I'm not using it. Um, apply that before you do any eyeliner or mascara because it can make it run. There are some pretty good ones available. Um, there's one called Attitude, you can get it in Savers. It was a pound when I first got it. And then you can buy ones from like Makeup Revolution and other makeup brands, I presume. But the Makeup Revolution one is for people who got oily skin and I tend to get an oily nose. I swear that come 2 o'clock in the afternoon my face feels really oily again. How does that look? I'm just going to check this in the mirror. Hi, so I've just applied a little bit of Johnson's Baby Talcum Powder just to kind of set, make myself look a bit paler because that is the look I'm going for. And now I'm applying the Manhattan Clear Face uh, 1, 2, 3, 2 in 1 powder and makeup. This is in Sand Colour number 76. I actually got this out of the pound shop. Uh, which is equivalent to something like a dollar store, dollar tree or a 99 pence store. So go ahead and apply this. I'm applying this as like a setting powder to set my makeup. Obviously don't apply it to your eyes. Don't forget about your nose as well and your forehead. Okay and then I'm just looking in the mirror behind me. I've got a big full length mirror. And that, that's looking pretty good. Yep. Don't forget to apply it to your neck. I'm going to stand up in a second and show you kind of bot, like top wise what I'm wearing. Obviously if you're doing this look for a gig or a party, put something really wowing on, like something really party-ish. Um, okay, so I'm going to quickly show you. I don't know if you can see. But this is my Simon Pegg t-shirt. So here we've got Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz and The World's End. I absolutely love Simon Pegg. So now I've done my setting powder. Sorry, I just dropped the wee cover off it. I'm going to go ahead and do my lips. Yay! Okay, so I want to start off by using the Salvation Velvet Lacquer and this is from Makeup Revolution I don't know how well you can see that it comes in a gold packaging and again I got this off Superdrug's own website but I guess you could get it off theirs it's this sort of like plummy colour I don't know how well you can see that you can probably see it better on the stick so I'm actually going to use a where did I put it? A Revlon retracting lip brush to apply this because I'm not so keen in using this on the little uh, brush that it came with. Wand I guess you could call it. You can go ahead and apply some lip cream beforehand if you wish. I need to get a bit more on that. It feels quite dry. I'm not the greatest at doing uh, the shape of my lips again because my hands aren't that steady. Oddly enough, I have the patience for doing card making and rhinestoning, but that's that's kind of different, I guess. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yeah. If you don't 
want to watch me do this, I guess you could skip over this bit. Sorry, whenever I put foundation on, it tends to make my nose feel a little itchy. I put some more on here because I feel like I don't have enough. Don't forget to do the corners of your lips either. I'm not a massive fan of this product because I find that because it's wet and it's a lacquer, it's not come off my teeth yet. The first time I used it, it went all over my teeth. I just feel that the more you put on, the more you're just moving it about. You're not actually really getting much on, coverage-wise. There we go. We're getting the summer. Again, if you go over the lines, just take a Q-tip. If you don't know that is, a cotton bud and just wipe. Okay. Seem to re oh, re smush. It's not my teeth yet. Good. There we go. Okay, so next up, I'm going to take the Sith. Star Wars themed, how appropriate. I saw Star Wars this week by the way. Uh, Freedom London lipstick. Um, Freedom Makeup are also the same company as Makeup Revolution. So it's this lovely colour and I'm going to apply that. I'm going to take my little brush first and I've only used this once before, so. Oh, as I've been talking, that's kind of come off. Dang. Oh, that's just a base colour. So, just using my little brush. I am going to go over the lipstick, don't worry. And the reason I'm doing this is just to kind of give me an outline, I guess, because I'm not using a liner. I am terrible at picking liners in the right shade that matches your lipstick. Ugh, I felt that hit my teeth there. I'm of course going to include some pictures at the end so you can see me. Looking pretty. Okay. So now I'm going to take the same lipstick and just go over my lips. Here's a question. I probably asked too many questions, but do women still do the whole blotting thing with li li toilet paper and go, mm, no? I don't know. I know my mum does. My mum typically goes out to work with just a bit of lipstick on. But me, if I'm doing makeup, I have to do a full face of foundation and then maybe some lipstick or lip gloss and some eyeliner, which I think is a nice combo. I'm just going to go ahead and look in the bigger mirror and clean up any edges that I may have messed up. Again, don't be afraid to have to wipe stuff off and if you're not on a time restriction this is and you know just play about and fix up any mistakes because I feel that the more times <coughs> sorry let, let me get my whole self in the shot here I feel like the more times I apply makeup the more times I'm learning my mistakes I'm teaching myself so yeah don't be afraid to just play about find out what foundations work best in your skin what colour combos, like, I really like doing dark um, for, like, maybe a gig, or it depends on where I'm going, but if I'm just maybe on, say, drinks with some friends, or maybe I'm going in a night out with some co-workers, which we've all pretty much done, then 
I prefer to use kind of neutral colors. Neutral, is that the word? Natural looking makeup. Or maybe some pink. Which I know sounds ironic because this, oh, sorry, there's a wee fly there. Considering this channel is called Pretty in Black. But yes, I love wearing pink eyeshadow. I just, it's dead easy to work with. And unlike this, it's not as messy. Um, but yeah, I'm still learning as I go along. As I said, I don't know how to sculpt and I don't know how to contour. And that's something that I maybe will master in the future. But don't be afraid to just play about with the basics. That looks so weird. I need to go fix it. So I'm going to apply a wee bit more of the Salvation Army Velvet Lacquer by Makeup Revolution. This is what my face looks like at the moment. I actually had to nip downstairs. Not that you're aware of that. And my dad was like, oh my god. Like, what? And mom was like, oh. You look different. <laughs> my my parents, like my mom, she is amazing when it comes to me wanting to dye my hair, wear dark clothes, and wear dark makeup. When it comes to tattoos and piercings, then her opinion and story changes. But you know, she is the person that has been dyeing my hair since the very first time I asked. And she is so amazing. I love you, mommy. applying a little amount of this not much though it's just I feel you can't really see it with the lipstick on top Ugh. notice how I've made that mark there well I'm going to go in with my q-tip and give it a wipe there we go So, to complete this festive gothic party look, I say festive, you could wear this to a concert, you could wear this for a birthday party, Christmas, or you could do this look minus the glitter if you wanted. I'm just forgetting I forgot my highlighter. So, this is the Makeup Revolution Radiance Palette. In case you're wondering why I have a lot of Makeup Revolution makeup, I'm not sponsored by them. It just so happens that last year I discovered them. I bought myself a bunch of their stuff from Superdrug. And then my partner Dee at Christmas surprised me with three palettes. Ah! Okay, so I don't have a little brush to do this with. But this is what it looks like. I don't need to... So I'm going to choose the, I think I'll go with this one, because although I want it to be highlighted, I still want it to be, uh, sorry, I'm looking for pale looking. So I'm just going to use my finger and do some highlighting. You know, again, this is just how I do my makeup. Like, everybody has their own way. If you don't want to... You know, do sculpting, do highlighting, do contouring, then don't, you know? If you don't want to bake either, don't. And I, when I say bake, I don't mean cakes. I literally mean baking your face. Okay, so I've applied that. But I'm going to go ahead and use another finger and just sort of blend it. So use my ring finger and give it a blend. Normally I would use a brush, but I cannot seem to find um, one that I can use. I just kind of do this for my highlighter. I don't really do anyone else. So, if I can find it. Also, from Freedom Makeup, we have... <laughs> I swear I'm not making up these names. We have Look Skywalker Lipstick. And it's this lovely grey colour, so I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of that to give my lips a bit more of a party look. This is optional, you can use whatever makeup you want. You don't have to follow damn what I'm saying. <laughs> that would be nice if you did, but... Okay, so I'm just going to use my... Oh no! 
That other stuff's rubbing off my lipstick. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply this on top. I always feel like one side of my lips, like here, slightly raised higher than this side. I don't know if that's true. It's like they always say one woman, uh, every woman has like one boob bigger than the other. Is that true? I don't know. I think it might be. It is very time consuming doing makeup. That's why I don't do it every day. I went quite a while ago for a job interview and the woman was insisting that all the staff get up early and do a full face of makeup and I mean full face and I was like it takes too long for me to do makeup and I says I like to keep my skin nice and clear um, and she's like oh we have to do your makeup and I'm like I'm sorry I'm not comfortable with this. Turns out I didn't get the job. Good. Um, not for like bad reasons, it's just they didn't seem to think I fit their atmosphere and they're a very, they're a plus size lady shop, right? And I'm not a plus size, but I have relatives that are heavy, I hope they don't mind me saying that. And I've not always been this skinny, I actually will hold my hands up and say I actually went to Slim World to try and lose weight. I mean, I had someone there who came with me, but I was doing it off my own back. In fact, it was me that asked, does anybody want to come with me? Because I'm eager to go. There was nothing wrong with being plus sized. Yeah. Typical. Doing my lips and can't find the lid. Where has the lid gone? Haha. -ha. Don't really have time to play hunt the lid. Okay, so I'm going to unpin. If I sit back a bit, maybe it would see. I'm going to unpin my fringe. So what I then do is maybe go ahead and straighten my fringe again. And then I would team this look up with a. A high waisted, maybe a high waist, a high waisted uh, neck top that's black. I've got one that's out pre mark and it's got different layers of, I think it's chiffon material. I would then put on a nice black skirt. Um, obviously for this time of year, some tights, and I would team it up with a pair of boots, a nice jacket, and I've got a Betsy Johnson handbag. It looks kind of like a purse. But it's a uh, leopard print and it's got a gold chain which you can put around your wrist and you can keep your keys, your money and your phone in it. And that would be my party look. So this is my face finally finished. I also have from Kiko a glittery nail varnish which you could apply as well if you wanted to go the whole hog and make everything festive looking. I don't know how well you can see that. It looks a lot, a lot, lot, lot greyer in real life than it does on the camera. But there you go, you can see it. It's sparkly. Ooh, I like that. So I'd be doing my nails with that as well. And this would be my festive look. My lovely party look. Thank you so much for watching um, from the Pretty in Black channel, which is myself. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and may all your wishes come true next year. Um, I'm going to leave some pictures of my look because I'm going to go and brush my hair. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos and share. Bye!
Thank you.